Hey, what's up everybody? I am doing a quick video on how to prevent your roof coming up. This isn't, I like to usually do more fun videos, but lately I've been working on a few projects. So up top of my house there, it's a much, it's a very flat roof, let's just put it that way. And so it tends to carry a lot of snow, holds it for a while. I can't even, can't even see the peak of my roof. Oh, one week, we live in a tiny house, so there's not a lot of roof, but it dams up pretty easily, especially when uh, last winter we got that huge snow and we had probably like 24 inches plus, maybe not quite 24 inches. We had a lot of snow. On the ground there was 24 inches, but up top there, there's probably a good 12 to 16. And I didn't have a roof rake. I now have a roof rake. And I'm gonna show you this trick I used last year when I didn't have a roof rake, is using the salt that you have or any type of ice melt, you put it in a pantyhose. Now, I had a pretty thick ice dam on the on the edge of my roof, so I pretty much filled this most of the way up, much further than I did here, and I laid it right across, right across, if this was the dam, I'd lay it right across like this, and so as it, uh, it melted the ice, it created a channel through the dam and allowed it to flow. That way it wasn't backing up under the shingles or anything. They do sell some blocks. Um, they're uh, basically just salt tabs. Well, I'm gonna use this instead. You take this or salt tab and you toss it up there and when it, uh, it melts the snow, it'll uh, create a uh, space for the water to flow. So let's see if we can get one up there. I'm videoing and throwing at the same time. So we'll see what we can do, All right, zoom it out. There we go. All right, I'm gonna get one up on this side. All right, not bad. I'm gonna get one more up here. And then I'm gonna put two on the other side. I tend to know kind of about where my, uh, my rough dams, it tends to dam more over here, um, or at least that's where it would back up. So now I got two of those up there and Eventually when the salt's gone in the springtime, I can go get them off the roof and reuse them. These ones I used last year and we're using them again this year. Otherwise just pick up a box of uh, like knee high pantyhose or if you got full length ones, cut them, fill them with salt. That's my tip for the day. You guys have a good one.